Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the gas valve of your Palmetto AR-10. Okay, so uh, this is the PA-10 Gen 3. Okay, so this has three slots per turn for a total of 17 positions. So what are those three slots? Let me show you over here. So if you look at this screw over here, right, you'll notice on this screw, which is your gas valve, there's basically it's flat on three sides, okay? So that's the three slots per turn. So for each rotation, each each click closes this this off. Okay, so you can hear a click. Well, right now it's completely open. But once you get down, you start hearing clicks. Click. There you go. Okay, so so that's the three slots. That screw has three flat sides, and what happens is there's a, an um, an indent here with a spring that's pushing behind it on this front. Uh, Allen screw okay so that's putting in sideways pressure that's pushing up against those flat sides and that's what's giving you the clicks the rear uh, Allen screw back here what that does is it just locks this screw in place so that uh, basically it it uh, it can't fall out so even if you undo this completely all the way that's not going to fall out because uh, there's that screws holding it in place right um, so that holds your that holds this screw locks it into place so it can't fall out and that's what put presses on the intent indent behind the spring to lock it into those positions so I've done a couple of videos where uh, I about a month or two ago I discovered that this 20 inch uh, AR10 upper that I got about a year ago uh, I, I realized that hey it only has I was only getting 12 clicks okay so the question is, why did I only have 12 clicks? I, I didn't even notice it until I went to clean it finally. Okay, uh, it was that was like at, at about 500 rounds. I went to clean it. Um, I realized that I was only getting 12 clicks, and I, you know, so um, I kind of put that out of my mind for a little while. But then I ordered. I recently got this uh, this uh, PA10 Gen 3 16 inch upper. Okay, so 16 inch versus 20 inch. So this has basically the same gas valve, but this one had 15 clicks, right? And then what happens is after the 15 click, you get like two more, which are like really, really soft. You're barely going to feel them. Now, if you're opening up past 15 clicks, it, the only reason why you would do that is because you're shooting like subsonic 308. Okay? Uh, in which case, because even after the 15 click, you can continue to turn the screw uh, to let more gas into the system and the recoil of the subsonics is going to be so light they're going to feel like 22s that it's not it's not going to matter it's not going to move it's not going to move your your screw out of position so it really doesn't matter position so after after the 15 clink you got you know you can position it exactly where you want to get the system to you know to let maximum amount of gas into the system okay um so the question now becomes why did the 20 inch have 12 positions uh, versus the the uh, the 16 inch, which had like 15 solid click positions, um, and to make a long story short, uh, basically carbon buildup, right? You got you got to clean it because what's happening is you've got this indent that's pressing up against this um, this this screw over here, and as as you know, basically carbon builds up in there you know that's gonna that's gonna make it so that it's not giving you solid clicks okay so that's what it comes down to just 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 shit in there um so i'm gonna include a video where i take this thing apart and clean it um so here's the thing i did not know what the problem was until the way it is i like pulled up palmetto and i said listen why does that one have 12 clicks that one you know this one has 15 that one has 12 and what they agreed to do was to send me another valve so I can I can change it out. Um, so, so basically, now that I had the extra valve, I did a whole bunch of experimenting back and forth. And, uh, you know, I, I had the benefit of being able to completely pull this apart because I had a backup because I was a little nervous about pulling this thing about. I was, I was nervous about pulling these Allen screws out of here. Uh, and and losing them because these things are really easy to lose the indent and the spring in there are really easy to lose uh, Once I had the backup. I was feeling a little bit more comfortable about taking all this apart um, But after swapping out the screws Yeah, I went through a whole thing and I realized that the reason why I wasn't getting the 15 clicks that I had on this new one 
is just because of the carbon buildup that's in there, okay? So, um, here's in, in, to clean this, right? Because these, uh, one of the things I discovered is that uh, these Allen screws here, right? When you, when you, the small, when you're using the Allen key, uh, the Allen key tends to like strip out pretty quickly. And these things are going to tend to spin in place. So after having removed these Allen screws, right? Because you remove the back one first to free up the, the, the screw. Then you remove the first one over here to remove the spring and the indent. Uh, and like I said, these things strip out really easy. My conclusion is I really don't want to have to remove these again uh, for cleaning, okay? Because every time you remove these, they, 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 the tendencies that they get, they're going to strip out. Uh, so my idea for cleaning this gas valve is to just basically open it up all the way, okay? And once you once you open it up all the way, um, from the, pull out your, your bolt, and your, and your charging handle and what you're going to do is you're going to take like uh, i use brake cleaner okay but you can use a gun cleaner whatever and you're going to spray through the back of the gas tube and that's going to come out the front and i think that's a good way to flush it uh, a good way to flush it out uh, after you've completely uh, opened it up um, and that's going to avoid uh trying to remove these 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 allen screws over here which i think are very prone to, to, to stripping uh, and then you can do that a couple times because what you can do is you can then close this up, spray it again, open it back up, spray it again, try to get it as clean as you possibly can get it uh, without having to actually remove these Allen screws, which, uh, you know, just having removed them already, I, I don't like it. And plus, they're very easy to lose. The indent and the spring in there are also easy to lose. So if at all possible, avoid removing them. Now, uh, the other important thing I want to mention is... Um, because here's the thing, I'm not a gun cleaning fanatic, okay? Like I said, I went about 500 rounds before I cleaned my, my 20 inch. What you will want to do, okay, is because you don't want carbon, uh, because you can have a, a carbon lockup. You're going to unscrew, after you're done shooting, right? Uh, you're going to unscrew the screw over here, and you're going to take some, either some WD or some, uh, just gun cleaner, you know, some kind of oil, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to spray that screw right there. Okay, you're gonna spray that clean. Um, and you're gonna tr you're gonna do this every time you shoot a lot of rounds, right? Because uh, you know you don't want the seizing up on you because it's you know you can get it. I mean, if it seizes it up, I mean these Allen crews are shit. These Allen keys are shit. Um, and what's gonna happen is if it seizes up, and you're gonna end up either stripping out the screw or stripping out the Allen key. And the point is it's going to be locked into whatever position you have it locked into okay so if you like if you're like me and you don't clean guns unless you actually have to clean guns and i generally don't clean guns until i get to the point where i'm pulling this and i'm still feeling extra resistance than what i normally feel that's when i normally clean guns but if you got an ar-10 i imagine it would also apply to an ar-15 um or any any uh gun that has a gas valve um, you're going to want to unscrew this, spray that, um, and then, and then, you know, do that probably once or twice, and then you can close it up and just, you know, you can store it like that. Definitely want to do that because you're, it's going to seize up on you. Um, I got lucky that I went 500 rounds and I never had, uh, this one seize up on me. Uh, this, you know, that was a 20 inch on a 16 inch. Like I was shooting, I shot, uh, cause I shot about 500, I shot about 150 rounds yesterday of 308. I was at the thousand yard range. Um, and I came back today and I went to, I went to clean this one and I could see it was, it was sticking just from the, from, from, I mean, I, may, I probably ran about 50 or so rounds, 60 rounds through this yesterday. Uh, that, that valve was starting to stick. So, uh, that's something you're going to have to do if you got an adjustable gas valve. You're going to have to keep that lube to keep, keep it clean. Again, without having to remove the Allen, the Allen screws on the side, just undo the the valve, spray it, close it up again, um, and that should and you should be good with that. Okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, I mean, that's the summary. Okay, if you if you're missing gas positions, right? If you if you only got 12 and, and not the 15 solid clicks that I have, uh, it's probably because it's just dirty. Okay, uh, and just 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 clean it. All right, so I'm gonna include uh, the details where I'm actually pulling this thing apart. I did that indoors, so I don't, you know, and I actually did drop one of the Allen screws at one point. I was on the floor, you know, looking like that. Uh, so, anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. 
Hey everyone, um, today we're going to be talking about changing out the uh, the gas valve screw on your Palmetto uh, AR10. Okay, so this is the PA10 Gen 3. The Gen 3 has 17 adjustable gas positions. Um, the one that came with my 20 inch um, uh, you know, uh, PA10 Gen 3 only has 12 okay now the reason why that would happen is okay so th this is the new screw that they sent me um there are these like basically there's three slots so uh, on this screw over here they've flattened it out on three sides right so it's three slots per turn and that's supposed to be for a total of 17. so what i suspect is happening is that the one that came with my uh with my ar10 it this, the, the, you know, basically it doesn't come down low enough, and that's the reason why it stops at 12. Okay, and we're going to check that when we uh, when we take this one out. Now, they sent me the complete gas block. I don't want to have to change out the entire gas block. Yeah, put it on the white paper so you can see it. I don't want to have to change out the complete gas block because I got to remove the uh, the flash the uh, flash pressure, and then I got to disconnect it from the gas tube. I, I don't want to do that. Uh, especially since I'm pretty sure that the problem is with the screw itself. So what I'm doing is I'm going to pull out the screw from this one and put it into this one. Okay, so uh, when you get this, right, uh, what you want to do is, first of all, get indoors, get, you know, clean off your floor because you got, you're dealing with a lot of little pieces here. So first of all, you're going to remove your rail, right? That's easy enough. There's like three screws. You got these three Allen screws that you got to remove, and then there's two Allen, there's two other Allen keys. I mean, that's easy. You'll figure that out. So you got to remove the screws, remove the the rail. So when you go to when you go, first like take apart your new gas block to pull the screw out because you don't want to mess up a gun that's already working, right? So first learn on this. So the there's two uh, Allen screws here on the side, right? Get a little closer here. So there's two of them. Is so this is the front over here. That's where the that's where the the the, the valve screw sits. So the back the back Allen screw is the retaining Allen screw. That that's what goes behind this this little uh, whatever this. Oh, nudge over here and that's what holds it in place okay so there's like a retaining pin over here so the allen screw locks in in front of this and then the second allen screw which is this one over here right the second the forward one right because you got a back one and the forward one the forward one that's closest to your valve screw that is pressing on a, an indent right so there's a spring i'm not even gonna try to bring it pick it up there's a spring over here and there's an indent all right so they're tiny you gotta be careful not to lose these things. So these things are like really tiny. So once you remove these two things, you'll be able to pull out. Oops, you'll be able to pull out this Allen screw. Okay. Uh, now this one came out. Uh, the, actually, the one that was on this one came out a little easier because I already took it out and put it back in. This one over here, um, I actually had to torque it a little bit, like with this, um, with the um, Allen key because it. it didn't want to come out easy, but it, it, I mean, you just got to kind of have to force it out, but that's after you get your Allen screws up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this one over here, right? Because I want to switch the Allen screws. So first you're going to take out the back one, okay? So you can see the, so here's the thing, these, you probably don't want, like, I'd like to Loctite these, but the problem is that if you Loctite them, you may not ever be able to get them out. And the other issue is with the carbon buildup. I mean, these things are, it can be, it can go either way. These things can either loosen up over time and you can lose them or they might just like get carbon buildup and like you can have a hard time getting them out. So, so it's either way. I'm not going to put any Loctite on these because I did that with some other Allen screws on another gun. Not, not a gas system it was on, on the, on the, on the tor turns and I had a real hard time, uh, Trying to get those out. Okay, so those are the two Allen screws. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Allen key. And I'm going to pull this out. This is the one that they send you. And when they send you the gas block, they do send you the other, an additional Allen key. 
So in a way, it's kind of good that this happened because I really needed to familiarize myself with this gas system. So now, this is already, I already had pulled it out once, but like I had some difficulty the first time. Okay, go, finally got it out. Okay, so let's do a side by side comparison. Try to figure out why one has, is it shorter? I can't see a difference looking at these two side by side. So it is possible that there might be a gas block issue. We're going to know when we swap these in a minute. So we're going to take the new one. Now the indent, I've, I've left it in there. It looks like it's kind of like the, the carbon has kind of kept the spring and the indent in place. So that's fine. We're just going to work with that. Let's get you back. So now we're putting in the new one. Now it's not going to click, it shouldn't click because there's no, there's, there's no Allen key pressing down on the spring over here. So let's get you in. Okay, so that's in. All right, so now we're going to take these two Allen screws. I'm going to use the same ones that were on it because I think that that little bit of carbon that's on there might actually help um, keep these things from falling out. Because, I mean, 308 had a lot of, you know, recoil. So that's one of my concerns. Over time, these might loosen up if you're shooting. And that would be, basically, that would turn your gun into a single shot. It would still work, but it won't cycle. Oop, come on, you piece of shit. Oh, I lost it. Okay, that's the one. One thing you can have to do screws are a fucking nightmare with this shit. All right, and there's really no way to... Put this one in. Get started. Okay. Okay. Get the other one in. Okay, get that started. These things skip, and I, I mean, I, I hate Allen screws. Yeah, I mean, if I, if I go too far, they, they skip. I mean, they're never, they're never the goddamn right size. So let's take it. Okay, so that's... All right, so let's see if how many clicks we got. So let's close it down all the way. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't have any additional clicks. So it's not just a screw, it's so. Uh... Do again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen is really light. I'm wondering if it's the if it's the indent. Let's try changing the indent because we got another indent. So the Allen the Allen screw itself is not making a difference. Let's try see if we can swap in the other indent. Let's do that there. Let's go this one, trying to get that. Let me see if I can get a really thin. I might need to get a pick to get that screw up. Okay, so there's the, the spring. 
There's a cover coming out. So let me see if I can get that indent to come out. If I turn, if I turn this, maybe it'll push it out. See if I can. See the thing with this is it's like it's so small that if you're not careful, like it'll fall out, and then you won't even realize that it fell out. Try to pick and pause this. Okay, I got it to come out. What I did is I put the pick in there, and I was going like this, and I was banging it, and I got this little indent to come out. Let me see if there's a difference. And this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the new ones in there. So first you're going to drop the new one. So the 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 flat the flat surface is going to be to the outside. Okay, so the pointy part goes in. So yeah, it, notice it doesn't go in flat. You gotta put like a little arm can kind of flatten it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the new spring. Put the new spring in there. Okay, now we're gonna put the Allen screw back in there. So if this doesn't fix it, then that means that it's some kind of issue with the gas block itself. And I don't know if it's uh, maybe worth trying to get the gas block off. Right, let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No, I'm not getting anything after fifteen. <laughs> 